Hey Daysers, it's your girl Rainy Days coming to make your day bright and sunny. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this look that I recreated from Ariana Grande's music video 3435. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys how I got this look, so stay tuned. Look, I know I'm a little late. She dropped this video like four weeks ago, but when I saw this one particular look, it just brought me back to when I was a kid and my mom used to do this look with her eyes where she would do a black line and a white line. And so it's also paired with like that same graphic liner look that I've been into lately. So I just knew I needed to recreate this look when I saw it. So here we go. I'm gonna start by priming my lids. The primer I like to use is a face primer, but I use it on my eyes because it does a trick. Um, it's this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Dewy, um, and I just feel like it keeps my makeup in place all day long. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Next, I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy Take Me On Vacation palette. As you guys can see, this is a go-to for me. I reach for it anytime. I'm going for like a neutral look because I lost one color, but it has like just a lot of nice neutrals. Um, so I'm gonna go in with these, this color here and this color here and this color here. And we're gonna pop those in the crease just to give me a little bit of definition. We're not trying to do too crazy of a look because this look is all about the liner. Um, so this is just a little base for that. This technique here of applying darker colors towards the outer portion of your eye and brighter colors towards the inner corner of your eye helps to brighten up the eyes. Um, I have very small eyes and as you guys like to know, I like to use all of the tricks that help me make my small eyes pop more. And then you just see how blending makes everything just look so much more natural. These are the same colors on this side as this side, but you can see this bold unblended just doesn't look as nice as this night, this blended outside. just white um, and we're gonna make these work and I'm gonna put these on in that graphic liner style and we'll be right back take my liquid liner this is a wet and wild mega liner um, and I'm just gonna get as close to the lash line as I can get and create the smallest skinniest cat eye to go along to just run along this white um, and that's just to make my eyelashes pop more so you guys can see I did the thinnest line possible with black 
um, and that's like I said just to make my eyelashes pop yeah I'm gonna finish my face and I'll be right back with you guys so because I'm wearing this look out and we're still wearing masks I only did like half a face look um, I just uh, touched up my under eyes with some concealer touched up my forehead with some concealer um, I didn't do too much with the lower part of my face. I did apply a little bit of bronzer, um, but I didn't do too much as far as my base goes. Uh, so now we're going to go in with my Subculture Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm going to take a little bit of mercury and a little bit of fudge. And I'm just going to apply that right to my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of definition. Um, we're going to focus this color on the outer part because again, like we did with the top part of the lid, when you use uh, darker colors towards the outer part, it just helps to brighten up the inner corner of the eye. It brings that focus here so that it makes my eyes look bigger than they are. Uh, so I'm going to take the brush that comes with the palette, the not fluffy side, the um, flat shadow side. I'm just going to go a little bit with mercury and just a little tiny bit with fudge. And then we're going to go into my lower lash line with that. And I don't want it to be too dramatic, so I'm just going to stop right there. And do the same thing to the other eye. So now I am going to take the fluffy end of that same brush and just smoke that out a little along the lower lash line, or blend it out. Smoke, blend, same thing. And you see how that instantly just made the inner corners of my eyes pop. This is my favorite trick to use, guys. If you have small eyes like me, this is the trick. You want to emphasize darker things on the outer corner so that the inside looks nice and bright. Um, now I'm going to go in with my um, MAC by, or Aaliyah by MAC palette. And I'm going to take the shade Love Smoke, this first shade right here, and I'm going to pop that right into my inner corner. And I'm going to use one of these brushes, you know, my favorite little RT small brushes. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and just pop it right in there. And this will help emphasize the white liner. See? Instantly. want to bring it down a little on the lower lash line to kind of connect where we stop blending out that um, darker color you don't want to have it like so as intense as it is in the inner corner but just whatever you have left on the brush don't pick up any more product just drag it along the lower lash line there and this also helps those eyes pop you see, when I first started, I had like no eyes, and now I feel like I have the biggest eyes. And now for the final step, you guys know I'm not a big lash girl, so I'm just going to go in with some mascara um, and apply this to my lashes to help them pop a little more and to bring this look all together.
gave it a few seconds just for the mascara to dry. You can see that it's dry. I'm gonna take a spoolie and we're just gonna brush that. And look, automatically gone. <laughs> so this is it for my finished look. Um, this is like an everyday wearable version of Ariana Grande's 34 35 video. Um, yeah, I'm in love. I'm excited to wear this out and get compliments because it's super simple, but it's also super cute. So, yeah. If you guys try it out, let me know. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.